Hi folks, we're here at the church's annual Easter egg hunt. And there's something here that I have that all the kids wish they had. A bottle? Well, it's interesting. What if there was a genie in a bottle? Remember, I dream of genie on the show. What if you could open this up, have the genie come out? You know what the kids would do? I want all the Easter eggs. Go get all the Easter eggs for me. Oh my goodness, no, it doesn't work that way. But a lot of people would like God to be a genie in a bottle. In fact, in our readings for today, it comes out pretty clear. In that Corinthians reading, one of the questions Paul asked is, is Jesus just good for this life and that's it? And he said, if so, we're lost. No, he's not our genie in a bottle to take care of all of our earthly problems. He came for a different reason. That reason was to take care of our eternity. And in, and in that reading, as well as in our gospel reading, you see Jesus Christ as the one who is risen from the dead. That's what Easter is all about. He won the victory. And because he won the victory, our eternity is taken care of. Yes, he does take care of our um, problems here on earth. Not always the way we want them. In fact, you'll see in our Old Testament reading where it talks about a new Jerusalem that's promised to the people in uh, Isaiah. Um, he is there for us. He does help us. But the reason he came and the reason he won the victory was so you and I could have eternal life with him. Happy Easter.